Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Blight Dream. Previously, we went snooping around the house, hoping we wouldn't be catched by our dear old brother. Okay. Check this real quick. Maybe I should throw out my thoughts. Sort them out. Come to think of it, I can get to the balcony from the window of my room or the living room. Is there anything out there? It's easy to overlook, but you never know. So let's check. Peek outside. There's no one on the balcony. Go now! Okay, he ain't here. A flower pot. Daphne's to be exact. I don't remember growing them before the accident. Since they're right beside my room, maybe that means I started growing them after getting out of the hospital. It's a little curious, isn't it? Think about it more. Daphne's. Daphne's? These flowers. I saw them somewhere. The mirror world. Blood. What? Something just appeared in my mind. Ah, my head's hurting suddenly. I'll go rest for a while. I do wonder, like I said, if, if it's going to be a non-sinister twist to all this. Everything is just completely explained and we're just overthinking. I feel like that ending would be hilarious in a very tragic way. I think I'm feeling better now. Just what happened earlier? I was just looking at the pot of Daphne's on the balcony when I suddenly... If I started to grow them after the accident, then is it a memory from the blank period? I'm not sure how to really describe it, but I'll try to put it into words right down in my notebook. Looking at Daphne's made some kind of memory flick through my mind, painting as flower as blood. I can't describe it very well. I know. If it's something important, maybe I'll keep it in a separate notebook, etc. I just skipped through that. It's the same dialogue she has every night. Daphne's. Huh? There's something in the back of this drawer. Oh yeah, the mirror world we found it last time. The works of Mishiro Isui. This book. It's the same collection I saw in my mind. I wonder if there are any clues in this book. These paintings are all so pretty. Abstract, but there's some kind of appeal to them. Ah. Flowers? This one. No doubt about it. It's what flashed through my mind. It's called... Blight. Well, there's our title drop. Ah. Uh, my head's killing me again. There's no question. This painting has to do with my lost memories from that time. But my head's going to split open. It's even worse than earlier. Blight. The painting of Daphne is included in this Mirror World book. There's something important hiding in it. But maybe my head can't withstand remembering a whole year of memories yet. I know this much for now. No need to rush. I'll put the book back carefully. Well, it's getting late. I should sleep. So long to today's me. Will you sue me? Only you and Mature are in this house. When time passes, you use location should change. Let's see yesterday's memory entry. Oh wow, who would have guessed? It, was, it wasn't a very eventful day. I wonder if he ever gets bored of doing this. It's like, man, I've been having to blank out this notebook a lot lately. I'm running out of pens. Maybe I should throw out my thoughts. According to the notebook, I found a bloody shirt in used room earlier. I wonder if there's anything else there. I feel like there's a, still a secret hiding. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Wow, 
while you are exactly here waiting. Hi. Oh, morning. How you feeling? I'm sure you know this, Michiru, but don't wander into my room. Why would I ever think that? A family size refrigerator. And what does it hurt? There are lots of energy drinks high in caffeine, but you shouldn't be busy when he's off school. Does he need to push himself that hard? Actually, he seems kind of pale lately. I wonder if he's not sleeping well. It's packed full of instant meals. It's true. You has never been one for cooking, but a stockpile this huge is almost creepy. Why would he stock up so much? It's not like he just can't go out regularly. Into three types of trash. And the notebook didn't say much about these, so I guess you handles the trash. I don't really need to cook right now. I don't need to cook right now. Shelves with miscellaneous items. Inspect. There's a photo in a frame making itself prominent. I'm in a holy bouquet. It looks like it's just outside a hospital. Maybe it's the Daphne's? 320XX. Oh, this photo. Maybe it's from the day I was hospitalized. I don't think it'll help me remember anything. But I think my notebook starts around this date. So we need you to get out of here. Let's see if we can get you reset. We'll go out to the balcony. And come back in. Should be about noon now. Trying to catch you off guard is a brush of danger. If you fail and you find out you've been trying to pull one over him. Hospital's kind of quiet. That means he left. I think. Double check. Okay, we're fine. We're going in. Go. Go inside. Enter. The PC is in sleep mode. PC hacked. Memories hacked. Game hacked. The folder is locked for reading. Please don't put the password and lock it. Password hint beginning. The password is beginning. I wonder what that means. Is there anything that comes to mind? The number on the photo. Folder unlocked. Ah, it opened. Why is the day I was being hospitalized the beginning? Oh well, let's just look in this folder. I mean, it's not normal to set up a lock. Ah, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that, but you know, considering the context, yeah. List of people. Kaede Takanashi, nurse, family. Let's see. Seiichi Hinohara, painter. Mirai Orihara, high school student. Is that the other girl? Huh? What the? Miss Takanashi and Mirai. I don't know about Hinohara, but. Why are these people who are in my memories being listed out here? The victims? Like I thought, you must be hiding something. Something important, related to the memories from the hospital. I've forgotten until just recently. After all, people don't normally keep a list of other people's personal information like this. And people relate to me at that. Maybe... maybe you just want to remember them later on. Benefit of the doubt? There are these three people's names, their family members, and other personal info. But no indication of what all this means. Still, I think it'd be bad if you saw me doing this. I can't stay here for too long. I should put the PC back to sleep and leave the room for now. We've been pretty lucky with the RNG. Like, he's managed to stay off our way. It's not always that easy. 
Miss Takanashi and Mirai Orihara's names were there on the used PC. What's worrying is that he had a list of information on them, with a password on it. Why in the world would he be trying to hide them from me? As far as I remember, they were kind people. No reason to go and hide them. Let's just write a new memory that he's gonna blank out anyway. Why is you hiding from me, Miss Takanashi and Mirai Orihara? Did something happen in the blank period? It could just be there was actually a separate murderer too, and they were just coincidentally the ones murdered. And he doesn't want us to remember that traumatic memory. Maybe they're looking for us, and the brother's trying to protect us. Little, little, little theories floating around. I know, if it's something important, maybe I'll keep it in a separate notebook. Etc. Going through the same process again, we'll skip for real quick. Memory should have recorded, hidden memories. Well, it's getting late, I should sleep. So long to today's me. Searching the house and collecting memories may trigger dreams about past events. Mm -hmm. Morning. I better get up. See yesterday's memory entry. Absolutely nothing. Today was an uneventful day. Okay, make our save for the day. Check the table, sort my thoughts. Just assuming you was hiding something, it makes more sense to carry it around than to hide it somewhere. Nobody could get their hands on it if he kept it in a pocket on his clothes. Except while he sh was showering, I guess. Bookcases and books I don't know. At a glance, I think it's mostly novels. Reading should be good notebook practice. Take the showers. Restroom. Do nothing. Washroom and bathroom. Peek inside. I hear the shower running. How convenient. Enter. Okay. Check the laundry. Use clothes on top of the washing machine. There's a key sticking out of his pants pocket. Not attached to a key ring or anything. Just one key. That's pretty unusual. Huh? Now that I look at it, we should probably just leave. This is the key to our parents' bedroom. I haven't gone there since the accident. There's no reason to, but... I wonder if you cleans it now. Take the key and leave, now. It makes me curious somehow. It's a key for an unused room. So I'm sure if it's fine if I borrow it. If he comes looking for it, I can give it back. We need to leave. Thankfully, it's like automated. Well, I took this key, but I didn't end up going to the bedroom today. I didn't say anything to you, but he does seem to be looking for it. Right, saying to give it back tomorrow? Oh, no. Just keep it in the drawer. It's not worth writing down. I know it's the bedroom key without the notebook. Besides, I don't think there'd be any hurry to give it back. Plus, he's just going to take it anyway. This is like, hmm, what's... I got the black ink out. I got a... Well, what's this? There's my key. Take that. Let me just clear out the notebook. There we go. There we go. You don't die yet. Yeah. If I just put it in a drawer, I won't lose it. I'll borrow it for a little longer and use it soon. Put the bedroom key in the drawer. Let me sharp obtain parents' bedroom. The next day. Something up wasn't was in my main notebook, but was written in my second notebook. First, you researched people who I met in the blank year, and is carefully hiding it. Also, while looking at Daphne's, a strange piece of memory crossed my mind. With such force, it felt like my head was splitting. It seems to be related to a book of paintings called The Mirror World, also in the drawer, but... I don't like my head splitting, so I'm not eager to test things out. Also similarly, for some reason, the key to the bedroom is in my drawer. Sure, our parents' bedroom is just an unused room now, but I wonder why it's here. I really am really curious what's in there. The fact the game actually like asks you, do you sure you want to like, go in? 
I'm sure there's something meaning to this key. It's not in the notebook, but I'm sure it means something that, that the past me put in this drawer. I wonder, is there something in the bedroom? Alright, maybe I'll go to the bedroom tomorrow. No need to write in a notebook. I'll notice if I put it in my pocket. Maybe there's also some meaning to how I didn't write about in the notebook. Make a save. Intermission. Two months ago, Mashiba Hospital. One day, a little while after beginning to keep a memory notebook. I'm really not sure where the storyline's gonna go. Like, I have an idea where it's gonna go, but it could also, like, throw that on its head. It might be, like, a little too obvious of a route, so we'll see. I keep wondering if there's gonna be more twists here. This is a pretty poster. Looks just like a blue... blue thing. Ah. Mysterious up-and-coming artist Masiru Asui's personal exhibit, The Mirror World. Location, Mirror Lake Natural Park, Rin Gallery. It's an exhibit for a painter, I guess. But it draws me in somehow. Interested in that painting, are you? Durs? Or someone else? Some random person? Um... Well, maybe interested. I was just looking and thought it was pretty. I see, I see! Her work is abstract, sure. But those with a taste for it can understand its unusual charms. You must have a good eye, yes indeed. Why does this person suddenly walk up? It doesn't feel like he knows me. You're the old man that died. Or, we're assuming probably died. The one I was on age 50. Oh, don't think I'm suspicious or anything. I'm a patient here. A humble would-be painter. Ever heard of Seiji Hinohara? I'm not knowledgeable about that kind of thing. <laughs> I wouldn't expect it. I'm not that famous, after all. But the painter of that piece you're looking at, Mr. Hiro Usui. I was her teacher once. I was. Well, amazing, don't you agree? Wow. She has a bit of a painful past. She even suffered memory loss because of it. Just like our main character? Memory loss. That's why they kind of connect spiritually. Perhaps that's why... It's why her art has such an allure. That's just how I feel. As if sucking viewers deep, deep down into a swamp of no bottom, it has that strange sense of transience. I can kind of see what you mean. It is just like a blue blotch, but it does have a certain look to it. Oh yes, I was on my way to the hospital room. Uh, I tend to lose myself when I talk about art. So I have a rambling on at you. If you're an interest in her, in Mr. Hero, Miss Mr. Hero's art, let's speak again. I should keep it in memory. A painter with memory loss. Is that why I found her art so pretty? Because she carried a similar anguish. Did I unconsciously feel something from that painting? The next day. Hi, can you visit me? Michiru. Oh, Mirai, hello. You came to visit me? Yeah, just dropping by while I was here. <laughs> Thanks. You visited two days ago too, right? I'm happy you keep visiting. I, I told you. It's just, while well, I'm at it, you know? Don't get the wrong idea. Cough. That was a joke. A joke cough. But isn't today a weekday? Don't you have to go to school? It's fine. Nothing fun about school. And when I go to the hospital, I get the whole day off. Anyway, heard you've been befriending this painter named Hinohara. Takanashi told me. Oh, yes. I wonder why you're the only one who has a natural sprite and the other two don't. Is it just because no adults allowed and they don't want to draw them, or not? I heard he was Miss Mr. Hero's art teacher. He also told me a lot about her work. It's a lot to write down in the notebook, but it's been fun filling it up so much. Mr. Hero is silly, eh? Alright, oh, Mirai. I'm gonna go see Miss Mr. Hero's exhibit. Are we going together? Is it a friendship date? 
Mr. Hinohara and my brother are coming along. But if you like, would you come too? There'll be lots of beautiful paintings. I mean, it is a little curious we have not seen the brother in the flashback at all. Huh, an art exhibit. Don't know much about that stuff, but... Well, I don't know much either. What do you think? Not interested? If you don't want to, then... Hey, I didn't say no, did I? I guess I got no choice. I'll go too. I'm bored anyway. Well, you're really stundery. Damn. Really? I'm excited to go out with a friend. A friend, huh? But hey, I like you too. Not sure what's fun about hanging out with a bad kid like me, though. It's for the contrast. The contrast works. Every writer knows this. You know what got me to start my memory notebook, Mirai? Well, if you say so. There's the brother. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil, and he appears. Michiru, you line up lately. It's right to the memory notebook you taught me to keep, Miss Takanashi. I've found people to talk to, and I've gotten things to look forward to. Maybe I'm managing a couple of this. That's great. Your injury's getting a lot better, too. So I bet you can be out of the hospital soon. R really? Seems the injury has been steadily healing in the past few months. While well, you've been doing well mentally, so why did it all go downhill? That should be a relief to your brother. Yes, it really is. I was really so worried for a while there. Thank you so much. Miss Takanashi, Mr. Hinohara, Mirai. Even after acquiring a memory disorder, I was able to meet so many new people. My brother was no longer my only ally. It wasn't easy writing every little thing that happened in the day each night. But it was great that I could start my days reading over such fulfilling memory entries. But... That's why it was so scary. What happened? All these people and events. The precious days I was slowly building up. If this notebook were lost, it will all be gone forever in an instant. No, we could have just lost the notebook. I mean, that's why there's a gap. Just that one small thing. If just by some mistake, this notebook got lost, then I would never... I didn't have to explicitly write down these fears, but... I'm sure yesterday's me and earlier me's had the same unease before going to sleep. It's a very existential fear there. And all the paintings look the same. Huh, so this is it. There's so many Miss Mr. Hero's paintings. Lots of ones I don't know yet. I guess the painting's just supposed to be a generic color. And they're not actually showing you what the paintings actually look like. That's why it looks like that. I'll make sure to write down impressions in my notebook, so I don't forget what I see. It could be kind of a dream effect, too. Because sometimes things in dreams don't have detail. Blooming flower. Yes. Yes, thank you for being so kind with Michiru. I'm talking with Miss Hinohara. If you need something, ask later. Why don't you check out the exhibit? It's nothing to brag about. I've lost a lot of my life as well. But the fact she was able to become an artist who could open her own exhibit, it makes me just as happy myself. I've been spending many a day sleeping in my hospital room, my body nearing its limits. I wonder if I've done all I'm able to do. A thousand stones. Artist age 28. A female artist, granddaughter of the famous painter Rinzu Isui. Known for an abstract, fantastical style. Once attempted suicide in her past, which caused memory loss. She began working in art around the same time, so she has relatively little practice as an artist. But many suspect that, her, that the experience is an influence. Lake. Don't know how to put this? She wrote a lot of strange paintings. Especially that flower painting in the back. I didn't really get it. How about you? That's the one we probably see in our uh, crack smile, in our uh, book. Empty 16 years. Life and death. 
Hey, it's first person. Is it really right to remember? Huh? What? Was that my imagination? But... What's this sense of uneasiness? It's weird. Well, how do we advance then? Ooh, bang. Things have changed. Those are skeleton towers. Maybe this is the, the spirit of the artist in a sense. Communicating with us. A common link. A common sadness in a way. That's why she understands this painting. Blight. This is myself and my regret. Every night I mourn my mistakes and think of my lost past. It must look like a disgraceful, ugly thing. The meaning of Daphne's is undying. They bear poison berries just as I bear my regret. And so I leave it here. By way of my precious brush. A terrifying, overpowering feeling of regret toward lost memory exudes from the painting. Yes, losing memories is a terrifying thing. That emotion is displayed bare, burning itself into the viewer's eyes and mind. It feels like my pain is understood. Only those with memory loss can understand the power of this painting. And at the same time, the question of what to do with this suffering, I feel like I see an answer. People can put such emotion towards things which they've lost, that no longer exist, and leave it in a heavy, venomous, beautiful form. In other words, the sorrow of loss, the internal poison which stays with people forever, that is what this painting is saying. Since the flower being kind of stained by blood, I see. If my mind can't remember the days, the people, I can just etch them in. Not onto, into any notebook, but into myself, with poison. Oh no. Advice, to get out onto the balcony, you can check the window in either Michio's room or the living room. Hmm. Morning, I'd better get up. It feels like I had a dream about the past. I wonder what it was that prompted me to remember the past. Mr. Hinohara was the old man who told me about Miss Misahiro's art. After that, I started writing lots and lots about my days in my memory notebook. It was a lot of fun. But that's what made me so uneasy about being unable to keep my memories in my mind. Later, I went to see Miss Misahiro's art. And there, I saw that painting. Blood. Ah, my head hurts. Why? Why does my hair hurt so much when I try to remember Blight? I think I must have seen that painting and realized a way I could keep my memories even while having a memory disorder. The terrifying regret and sadness towards lost memory in that painting. I felt it and... Just one step away. I can't remember that one last step. What's there is so important. I shouldn't rush. I was able to remember all this on my own power. No memory notebook. Which means my memories remain. Seeing that painting and realizing a way to keep my memories, the memory must still be there. So I shouldn't rush. It's just one last step. Any impetus at all might allow me to remember it so. Mr. Minhinohara. Soy Soy. Blight. Yesterday's memory entry. Oh no, this is even worse than before. A warning to tomorrow's me. Don't try to remember the past anymore. Someone's been busy. Don't try to remember the past. Don't try to remember the past. Don't try to remember the past. What's this? I think this is a very light warning. 
And by light, I mean I'm completely joking. This is awful. This doesn't mean anything to me. Yesterday's me is just yesterday's me. It doesn't matter to today's me. I will get back my memory of that blank period. Hmm? Something's in my pocket. This is the key to our parents' bedroom. Well, I remember if I go there. That last piece to fill in the blank. Begin search, part triple. It seems the time is approaching the clip what happened during Machiro's hospital stay. In that yet uninvestigated room, perhaps there lies a final clue.